Hi everyone, DJ's Aviation here. Welcome to another video of mine. And this particular video we'll be discussing is the 777-10 the perfect replacement for the Airbus A380. I did a video on is the A350 or A330 Neo better for airlines and some feedback I received was it was rather tricky to listen to and actually understand what was going on. I completely understand that feedback and when I published the video I definitely understood uh, straight away I'd probably put too much facts in there. While this video will be heavily fact-based and a lot of numbers, I'm going to try my best to add some graphs and words to help your understanding and give you a visual representation of what I'm saying, so hopefully you can understand at the end of the video a little bit more what I'm trying to say. Before we begin on is the 777-10 the perfect replacement for the A380, we really need to talk about the two aircraft. We're going to begin with the 777X program. A card will be on your screen now in the top right corner of your screen. If you're interested to learn more about the 777X, I go in depth in that video. However, this one, I will be a little bit more brief. So feel free to go and check that video out, then come back to this one so you have a better understanding on the whole program as a whole. At this stage, there are only two variants of the 777X, and that being the Dash 8 and the Dash 9. The way of remembering the two are relatively simple once I've explained it, you should be able to understand quite well. So, the way I remember it, the Dash 8 version has the smaller number, meaning it's shorter in length, but has the extended range, whereas the Dash 9 version is the opposite. It has the longer length, the higher number, but its range is less. Overall, the 777X has certainly gained quite a lot of positive feedback and already received a number of orders, with its official program launch still being around two years away with Lufthansa. It's amazing that so many airlines have already committed to the aircraft. So when I talk about the 777-10, it must be noted this is an aircraft that still hasn't actually been released. However, it is highly likely it will be eventually, similar to what happened with the Boeing 787-10 and Airbus A350-1000. Boeing is proposing to stretch the 777-9 by an added four rows of seats to accommodate some 450 passengers. This will essentially be replacing the Airbus A380 Super Jumbo. The 80 meter long airplane is also set to compete with the A350-1000. The A350-1000 is 73 meters long, so in total a 7 meter difference between that and the 777-10. It has been confirmed that Boeing have contacted Emirates regarding the 777-10. Emirates are, if you didn't know, the largest operator of the A380, and have actually been pressing Airbus for a newer version of the A380. You might be thinking, well, Airbus have released the A380+. Plus. That wasn't actually exactly what Airbus were looking for, hence no firm order from them yet, and they actually opted for the Boeing 787-10 instead of completing an order for the A380 Plus at the Dubai Air Show. From this, Boeing has realized that there might be a possibility of the 777-10. As mentioned earlier, there are two variants of the 777X. The first, 777-9X customer deliveries are not expected until 2020. A 777-10X may take up to two or three additional years to get customers. And by then, we might actually start to see Emirates wanting to remove a number of their older A380s, as silly as it sounds. As time passes and Emirates don't order the A380+, Plus, I think we'll get closer and closer to Boeing unveiling the 777-10 and an eventual order from Emirates. If all goes according to plan and Emirates start to remove the A380 fleet, and order the Boeing 777-10, we might see eventually an all Boeing fleet from Emirates and the majority of their fleet being the Boeing 777-X. After a brief look at Boeing and the 777-X, it's time to really focus in on the comparison and why the 777-10 could be the perfect replacement for the A380. Obviously, the A380 has heavily relied on Emirates when it comes to its orders for the giant double-decker aircraft. The A380 also has four engines, making it harder to maintain for airlines and not as a desirable choice. If we look at the Boeing 777 specifically, the non-X version, it has and is one of the most successful wide-body jets around, with its production beginning in 1993 and still going today. In total, the original 777 has had some 1,959 orders across all its different variants, which include 422 for the 777-200ER, 839 for the most popular 777-300ER, and a number for the 777-F freighter version. Through the years, Boeing have also steadily delivered the Boeing 777 to its customers. This not only shows its demand, but also how multiple airlines rely on this aircraft and program for their long-haul fleets, with airlines like Air New Zealand putting their faith in both the Dash 200 and 300 variants of the 777. It's no doubt Boeing will look to the current 777 and 777-8 and 9 operators as well when it comes to the interest for the Boeing 777-10. 
I also believe they will be contacting the current A380 operators regarding this new aircraft. While you may think why would airlines order the 777-10 if they have the Dash 9 or Dash 8 variant, and I agree, but all you need to really do is look at Qatar with their A350s. They have ordered both the A350-900 and A350-1000, so it's more than possible an airline could order the two largest variants of a particular aircraft. Let's move on to the A380 now. Again, I've made a video on the A380, a card will be on the top right of your screen now. Feel free to click on that if you want to learn a little bit more about the A380. But we're going to move on and discuss the orders and how it's gone overall. So obviously the A380 is a fantastic airplane to spot and is the largest passenger plane in the world. Airports actually went to the extent to also upgrade its facilities to accommodate it. The A380-800 has accumulated some 317 orders in total, with orders in the past couple of years coming in very slowly. This table will showcase to you the customers of the A380 as well as the airlines that either cancelled the order or went bankrupt. The numbers of A380s that were received for the majority of airlines are around 10 to 20. Of course, the likes of Singapore Airlines and Emirates are exceptions, with Emirates having 142 firm orders and plenty more still to come. This table now will also give you a better view of just how the whole order and delivery situation has panned out. As you can see, there's a guide towards the bottom. Light blue or aqua is the orders remaining and green represents the number delivered. As you can see with a number of airlines, they have already completed their deliveries of the A380 with exceptions of Emirates and Qantas. Another interesting thing is Qantas cancelled their remaining A380 orders, which were around eight. Uh, it's been rumored that Qantas want to transfer the remaining eight orders to the A380-900ULR. If we compare the A380 and the 777X, there are a number of differences which make the two so interesting. Another table will be on your screen now throughout this part of the video to better explain what I'm saying. So the 777X, while we don't have the specifications of it completely yet, we know how long it will be. I'd expect the range to be less than the Dash 8 and 9 versions. Maybe we could estimate the Dash 10 range to be around 12,000 kilometers. The range of the A380 is 15,200 kilometers. While the range is more, the wingspan is also far larger than that of the 777X. Also reminding you that the 777X has two wingspan variants, that being the unfolded wingspan and folded wingspan. Ultimately, one could go on about this topic forever. In my eyes, the 777-10 would be, in fact, the perfect replacement for the A380, not only because of how elegant it is, but also because it is part of the prestigious Boeing 777 and Boeing 777X family. Another factor is the absolute overwhelming success of the classic 777. It is, without a doubt, likely by the time we see the release of the 777-10, more airlines that operated the classic version will be looking for an upgrade. Even if it's just 10 orders from one airline, these numbers all add up and can make the 777-10 a success. This is especially noted with airlines that will be looking to retire their A380s by the mid-2020s. For example, Qantas, Korean, and so on. Thank you very much for watching another video of mine. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think this will be the perfect replacement? Do you actually want to see a 777 If not, let me know as well. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all next time. Peace.